Hello everybody, welcome to Origami Light, and today we're going to be folding this sparrow. So just a little bit of a warning, this is a little bit of a long, longer tutorial. Well, I'm guessing you'll probably see that. It's, well, it's not very easy. So, let's get started. First of all, let's talk about sizes. So, I'm gonna be using a six by six inch square. Um, that's what I used for this one, but I actually think that using bigger sizes is better. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, first of all, you're going to fold diagonally in half. This feels like, whatever. Feels thicker than usual. So you're gonna fold diagonally in half both ways. And turn the paper over and you're going to fold in half both ways and unfold and now you're going to collapse into a water bomb base. So I'm not going to go in very much detail into anything because this is a more complex model and so or um, better origami designers and stuff like that should be able to understand and stuff. Okay, so now you're going to fold up here like you would a regular water bomb and then fold down. Okay, so it hasn't been working, but I think I got it to work. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and bring this flap back out. If this, if I run out of space again, I'm gonna flip out. Okay, so then you got it like that. And now what you wanna do on the other side is fold this up, same on the other side, and fold like this, and now unfold back to this stage, and you want to squash fold, and then petal fold that. And then fold that back down and fold it to the side. So now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Like this. And fold that back down and fold it to the side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna fold these flaps to the center and unfold. And so now that's four sections. Now we're gonna make it eight. So fold like that and like that. Same thing. Now we have it like that. Okay, so now open this up and sink, sink it. And do the same thing on the other side. 
this isn't too complex. It's just a little bit more than my other models. Okay, so these are the legs. And if you notice on this one, it has some feet, so we need to make it some feet. And so okay. we'll do that. <laughs> so I just accidentally dropped my phone, but. So now what we're gonna do is we actually want to undo this right here. I haven't folded this in a while, so I forgot that this, you're actually supposed to do it like that, so. I had to relook at the crease pattern, and I looked at that, and I found it out. Okay, so now, it, right, it, the one thing that it does help with is it gives you kind of a grid. So you're gonna make this fold, and then inside reverse fold, and inside reverse fold. And do that on the, on the other side but just make sure it's nice and aligned. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up to where it meets this and then fold it back down to where it meets this line. So it's not to the edge of this paper, but it meets to that line. It goes to that line. And then you need to fold the layer back over, do the same thing. Fold this layer up and do the same thing. Sort of like this. It doesn't have to be too accurate, um, these folds, because that will be on the inside. And unfold. And now sync all of those. So I'll just do one and then a time lapse for the rest of them. Like that. Okay, so now we have the general base. We just want to make some modifications and then we're all good to go. Holy crap. Oh, oh I need to very many things have been going right. I dropped my phone again. It's not very stable on this, but if I just don't touch it, then it will stay. But if I do, then it falls. So now time for the most some part. Um, we're done the base, but we just need to make some modifications to it so we can start shaping. So first of all, what you're going to do, I'm just going to do everything on one side and then do a time lapse of the other. Okay, so you're going to open up this layer and then spread squash, spread squash this layer and then close it back up and then well actually open it open up the next layer like this and open up here and spread squash there and close everything back up like that and what you're going to do for the toes, you're going to fold this layer like that. And then you're going to fold like this.
and like that so it's it's like a sink okay now do the same thing on the other side you can actually just use the 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 other one as a base for for it I'm really getting nervous right now because my phone could fall and then I'd have to make that part of the video but whatever <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this layer here where it has this. You're going to open it up like this and then fold these two to the center and then unfold them. Now you're going to open it up <coughs> and um, make these creases like this. And you're gonna close it up like that. You need to make like a rabbit ear fold with it and then, then you can close it up. And then lastly, on this side, you're just going to spread squash this. It's a little bit easier if you open it up a little bit. And there you go. That was the most annoying part, I think, of the whole model. Okay. Now just do that to the other side. Okay, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start shaping. So we fold this part over and you wanna fold the wing up and back this way. And same thing on the other side. So let's start shaping the wings. You want to reverse fold them down for now, like this. And we'll work on them later. But for now, start shaping the legs. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure you need to put the wings down first. To start shaping the legs. Eh, not really. <laughs> Never mind. So you just fold it up and then you make it rabbit ear fold. One second. So this is one of the hardest parts. No, not really, but it's a hard step because it's very thick. So I suggest either using thin paper for this or you can just get it really wet when you're using wet folding paper okay so now let's focus on the leg um you need to outside reverse fold like this And then you need to fold this like that. Oh, was that out of frame? And so basically you separate the layers of the feet and stuff. And there you go, you have the foot shape. And do the same thing on the other side.
and also kind of curve the toes a little bit. So the feet are done. And now we can move on to the wings. And we can also zoom out. I almost dropped my phone again. So now after that you put the wings back like how they were. And you kind of, okay, so I need to hurry up because I'm running out of storage. This is the last video I need to make for the week. But, so, fold it like that. Great, hopefully I have more storage. Again, I ran out. Um, so, do the same thing on the other side for the wing. And you want to fold the wings like this. So it gives you a nice shape. Okay. So lastly, what you want to do is go through many layers and just fold like fold the head shape. Then you also want to pleat the beak and make it like that. And now just curve the body. And you're all done. That's uh, Origami Spear designed by me, and this is Origami Light signing off.